Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 389. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. And well, today we got... Hmm, it's rather strange. Not really. But let's just say that today's news week is all about Magic the Gathering. Um, so let's not dilly dally and let's hop right into it. So first news is... Sophisto made a deck and it is the Twilight Sparkle Commander deck uh, it says EDH uh, you know I, I have to break it down to you guys and explain what some of these things are some analogies or not really analogies but the acronyms and whatnot so EDH stands for Elder Dragon Highlander it is a format in the game of Magic the Gathering. Uh, in this format, you are allowed to have a single copy of a card, except for basic lands. And the deck size is about a hundred. Um, the commander is always in the command zone, so that will be a ninety-nine plus one deck. So, what Sophisto here did is basically created a deck where Twilight Sparkle is the commander or the general of the deck. And looking through all of his lists and what he did here, it's pretty interesting. And the thing is, Twilight Sparkle has a very interesting ability. Uh, I'm just trying to remember wha what was her ability. But okay, she has three abilities on the card flying that means the creature has the ability to fly and a passive anthem ability which is other alicorns horses pegasi ponies and unicorns you control get plus one plus one that means uh, its power and toughness and her ultimate it is a if uh, pay white blue black red and green if you control Applejack, Fluttershy, Pinkie Pie, Rainbow Dash, and Rarity, every pony wins the game. In all honesty, that last ability is technically unable to be performed because the card Applejack, Fluttershy, Pinkie Pie, Rainbow Dash don't exist yet. But that's besides the point. Um, Going through the list, Sophisto made a pretty viable deck. Uh, it has a lot of, let's just say, a lot of Pegasi and stuff. <laughs> and if you are interested in giving this a shot, ah, here, yeah, there's a. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> but if you are interested in giving this a shot, uh, use this as a guide because it is a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. Uh, Sophisto here just points out that certain cards like Lightning Greaves or Swift Boots here are good for protecting your creatures and also giving it haste, um, haste meaning that it can attack on the turn that it's summoned. Uh, when you summon a creature, they cannot attack on the turn that it was summoned. They call it summoning sickness. What's that? But that's this point. <laughs> but that is beside the point. Um, so yeah, a lot of good tips here from Sophisto. So I suggest that if you are interested in building this deck, go check it out here. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Oh wow, rarity here. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> but that's besides the point. And yeah, like I mentioned before, if you are interested, go check it out and try to build one yourself. Yes. So anyway, I'm going to move on to the second news. And whoever who ordered the pony trading cards, they are here. And mine arrived at Silver's place a while back ago. And he was shocked that the box was big. And I was shocked that the box was big. And well, it seems here it is. Okay. Um... The illustrious Q bought his also, and here is the unboxing. 
uh, a note to here is that uh, a purchase which may not have also donated thirty dollars to extra life. Okay. Uh, yeah, if if you remember before, if you purchase the fifty dollar uh, set, thirty dollars goes to the Seattle Children's Hospital for extra life. But wow, that's dumb. A huge box, air bubbles, only for this man. That's rather small but it looks really cool I, I wish I had mine now and yeah like the just looking at this makes me want to get mine really really now huh that's strange contains three cards and a poster oh, okay I see because here's the poster it looks like that and um Lester's Cube mentioned here that the dimensions of the poster is oddly size and that's because from my view I think that could be a playmat but I'm not 100% sure if it is or not still it is a good looking quote unquote poster and I don't mind framing it up but Q says that it is going to cost a lot of cash just to frame this because it's all these size they have to uh, make a custom what do you want to call this frame for it uh, but well uh, here it is it looks great it's foil and whatnot I think so I don't I, I can't really tell from here but this is nice this is nice I can't wait to ha get, get mine in hand yay yay but anywho, uh, moving on to the second to last news. More ponies. Yes, if you do play Magic the Gathering Arena, uh, that's the computer version of Magic the Gathering, you can, well, you used to, <laughs> you could buy the sleeves. And they were about four bucks a piece. And in all honesty, I got no idea if this Ah, yes. All of this will benefit. Okay, so buy sleeve. $4 goes to charity. I can dig it. I don't mind that. But yeah, you can have the uh, Princess Luna, Nightmare Moon, uh, Princess Solid Sparkle, and Rarity sleeves. But in all honesty, I do wish that they make this in real life. I, I wouldn't mind having... A commander deck sleeve with Twilight Sparkle, like a hundred of them, like that would be so great. But knowing um, the quality, the backs are going to feel really sticky, and they're gonna get caught and stuff like. The quality is aside, quality aside, but this is for a good cause. Four dollars we go to charity, so yay, much awesomeness. And last news, surprise, no ponies. Yay! Well, I, I mean, no magic, but still, we got John Cena. Cool. So, John Cena recently posted a tweet about his upcoming movie called Playing With Fire. I seen some of the trailers, and it is really. It, it was cool, it was cool. And, well, if I'm not mistaken, the tweet goes something like this uh, where we are. Okay. Um, it says, not playing around, this is a seriously funny movie. It features no thing but malarkey and a ton of My Little Pony. Sparkle Pony. <laughs> uh, movie comes out November 8th. And, wow, I, I got no idea. <laughs> oh no, Celestia, no. Oh god. But still, that is shirt. I wonder where did I get that shirt? That shirt is awesome. No, um, but you know, honestly, um, I'm thinking this is a pretty awesome way to promote ponies. But by the time that this movie comes out, it's not um, Gen Gen Four has finished, and I'm not hundred percent sure if it's quote unquote relevant or not. But like Silver says, the fandom will live on. And I say this is not bad. Like, 
if this is going to sorry if this movie is going to quote unquote reference the movie or sorry reference ponies and whatnot, I say yeah why not right let 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 let's just have this moment here John Cena wearing a Celestia shirt and ripping it off like Hogan, yay. <laughs> So, um, what else can I say? Um, will I watch this movie? Probably, just because it's going to be a funny family comedy movie. And since it's in November, um, I think it's close to the holidays for you guys in the States. I, I got no idea. But this is something funny that I might check it out. Well, with that, that's the news for this week. <coughs> So guys, um, let's go to the next topic and what have I been doing with my week. So this week has been rather interesting. I went out again with friends, especially the one that I went on a date on. We, we kind of had a double date. Um, we is, If some of you follow my Instagram, that is uh, instagram.com slash Norman Sanzo, you've seen some pictures of food, yes. And, you know, I, I wanted to post pictures of my friends and whatnot, but I don't know. I, I don't feel comfortable about showing their faces and whatnot. Maybe I should ask them for future reference. But still, um, had fun. We went around just going shopping and whatnot, like just looking at stuff, um, having great food, great desserts and whatnot. And yeah, that, that was a lot of fun. Also, I went to my local, well, my LGS for their annual barbecue. <laughs> they always have it on the 2nd of November. I think so. Um, that's what he said. I, I need to reconfirm it. But uh, he'll always do it on the first week of the Friday, whatever it is, he'll do it on November, like, yeah, the first week of November, whatever it is, and we had awesome food, like, chicken wings, uh, rack of lamb, and sausages, it was a lot of fun, like, it was a really nice way to gather the community and just, you know, uh, spark some friendships, it was really fun, it was really fun, and... Yeah, uh, got met up with a long-time friend, and also I, I think he could be a fan of the show. Correct me if I'm wrong, Justin. Uh, thank you for listening for all these years, and yeah, we we, we sparked a conversation about the show. Like, have we? Um, he asked me that uh, I'm still doing it for this long, and yes, nothing's going to stop me. I will keep doing this show till my last breath. If not. I will do it until, you know what, no, I'm just going to keep on doing because G5 is around the corner and we still have reviews to do, so yay, much more to do. Um, besides that, I had a lot of uh, fun activities this weekend. This this weekend was a lot of fun. Uh, other than that, um, Overwatch 2, yeah, Overwatch 2 got announced. Overwatch 2 got announced and it seems like it is a really interesting game a lot of um, what you call this a lot of nuances um, new gameplay new UI user interface and I, I can't wait I really can't wait to check it out and play it but the question rises here and I'm not sure if they stated how it's going to be if it's going to be a uh, what you gonna call this expansion pack or a totally new game yeah we we got no idea because if it's an expansion pack, the best we could hope for that it's going to cost about thirty dollars to forty dollars, but if it's a new game, it's going to cost us about sixty dollars, and that sucks that sucks a lot. And the question is, what happen, What will happen to all of our previous items, our previous uh, skins, sprays, and so on? I myself bought loot boxes back in the day 
for event items. And yeah, those things, if they are non-transferable, those are going to suck. So, though that's my thought and feelings about it. But in honesty, the game, if it comes out, I can't wait. I, I just want to play it, man. Like, Overwatch with friends, in honesty, any game with friends, is a fun game. I just can't wait. Like, we will see how it goes. Uh, one can only hope for the best. <coughs> but anywho, uh, that's the show for this week. And, well... I'm gonna say thank you to you guys for still sticking around and listening to me babble because it's been a well yeah it, it's been a while it's been a while and I thank you guys for sticking around this long and well usually times like this I'm pro- I'm just buying time so I can open up stuff to say stuff like thank you to the patrons and whatnot <laughs> because I forgot to open that one. Yeah, yeah, but hey, <coughs> um, give me a second. I'm loading stuff, <laughs> but yeah, no. In all in all seriousness, um, you guys are awesome. You you guys are the best. So let's anyway. Let's get on to the end. So anyway, if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at thembsgmail dot com. You can also reach us on the twitters. The show's Twitter account is at thembs show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date and stay to radio. And also, like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PrintlyBlive.com. Links are in the show notes. If you'd like to support the show, you can support the show at Patreon.com. show. With every support, you'll get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content, and a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, I would like to thank Amy. Lucky Knight, Master of Lag, Tristan, and also Jeffrey. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the MBS Show. See ya.